On the 12th of November 1910, at the railway workshop's hillside, a new tank locomotive stood ready for the road. Workers added final touches, supervisors and foremen posed for the usual official photographs, and along with several sisters, locomotive 480 was sentenced to hard labour for life. After 60 years, a load of scrap metal at Greymouth, for sale as is, where is. I know we're railway enthusiasts, but we must be crazy to take this on. Yeah, fixing it's one thing, driving it to Auckland's another. Well, anyway, um, I suppose we'd better get on with it, hadn't we? Yeah. yeah. Saved from the torch, to be lovingly driven 800 miles to Auckland in the North Island, where 480 will have its own home. Ahead, the long climb over the Southern Alps and beyond into the big, wide world. Born 1899, died 1955, in loving memory of our dear departed sister, inserted by members of a dwindling family. Long ago, when steam was powerful, a fabulous fortune rattled in the wagons from coal mines here on the west coast. But later, in the struggle for power, revolution and execution by diesel oil, Milepost 35, 34, 33. Back into the past when steam did 70 on the Canterbury Plains. For 
station of passengers arriving on the express from station south, this is Christchurch. Christchurch, that is, in the 1900s. A dignified, still world. Exposed by the society photographer, his plate camera, and dog. In this age, as important as Cathedral Square, the railway station. From here ran the fastest trains in the country. All tickets for Ashburton, no madam, change trains for Fairley at Timaru. Off the express at Timaru for Fairley, Amaru for Kural or Duntroon, take your pick. Up any old branch line on a Sunday afternoon to visit Aunt Alice's country estate. Or perhaps ogle the daffodils at a picnic. The end of the South Island Line. Four days out from Greymouth, at two and a half tons of coal a day, 60 pounds to the mile, after 350 miles, that's a lot of ash. Emptied and cleaned out, stripped and temporarily bereft of parts. A steam engine becomes an empty hulk, and all to fit on a ferry. The commonplace is taken for granted. The unusual attracts excitement. Take two steam trains up the North Island main trunk line, 400 miles from Wellington to Auckland. The last, and back in 1908, the first.
Try Happy, eight minutes for refreshments. In 1904, the main trunk was a branch which ended here. Travellers are advised this is the end of the line. Horse and coach will take you on to night lodgings at Ranga Tower. Up next morning, across the volcanic plateau to Waimarino, there to catch another train, and so on. The whole journey in three bone-shaking days. Soon, it would take a mere 20 hours. A thousand men were put on the job to finish the line. Eighteen eighty-eight. 175 miles to go. 1904, 91 miles. August 1908, years between railheads have become months. On Friday, the 6th of November, 1908, a special train arrived at Pokaka for the grand opening of the main trunk railway line. North and off the volcanic plateau, down and around the Raurima spiral. One mile in a straight line, seven on the spiral to Raurimu Station. Auckland, 200 miles. On Monday the 2nd of June, a veteran tank locomotive arrived in Auckland 